all right guys so what we're gonna do now is um i've shown you these pillows here that i picked up from ikea and so they were 4.99 a piece and i bought four of them so what i want to do is i want to waterproof them and so what i am going to use is i'm going to use this this is this is the rustoleum never wet multi-surface liquid repelling treatment so this works on everything it states that it works on metal concrete wood um, great for aluminum galvanized metal pvc masonry asphalt vinyl side and plastic fabric leather canvas and more so and it also protects from ice and let me see never wet breakthrough technology that repels water mud ice and other liquids and protects against corrosion and wear caused by exposure to the elements so we can actually use this over on the um the grill over there um we we need to protect it and um i don't know where the cover has gone so this will be great to spray on here so this is two processes and the first process is to spray the never wet base coat and then we let uh, let that uh, we allow that to dry for 30 minutes and then we will apply the never wet top coat and then wait for 30 minutes before exposing to liquids so these are just pillows regular pillows that um i bought from ikea like i said and so what i'm going to do i can't rip them i'm going to cut these tags off and then we're going to um, begin by um, applying the first coat of the first process we're going to let that dry we're going to do it on both sides and then we'll come back 30 minutes later or so and do the second coat Okay, so I've sprayed all of these. I have one more to spray. And so I'm just gonna sit and let it dry. Now, it has a really pleasant smell. So it's, it doesn't smell like really um, toxic or anything. But, um, and I picked these up guys when the Dollar Tree had them and I picked up, I think I picked up two or three of them. Um, because I knew there was gonna be a time that I was gonna definitely need this. So this is that time. Now, as you see, when you put the coating on here with the black is, you can see it kind of turned a little white, but I'm not worried about that. I can probably, once it dries, kind of like dust it off a little bit. And then um, we'll go come back and apply step two. So this has to dry for 30 minutes and then we'll do step two. Let that dry for 30 minutes and then we have ourselves some indoor outdoor pillows okay so now i'm going to apply this top coat i'm going to shake it up i 
And so this is the liquid repelling barrier. Okay. Alright, so here's my pillow. And as you see, uh, well, you can't see it, but if you touch it, you can tell that the top of it has like a coating. Now, um, it is it's black and white, but the coating kind of, it gives it a kind of like a frosted look. So I may have um, used this a little bit too close to the fabric, but neither the less, it, it doesn't take away from so let's see how this works so i have a glass of water here and we're just going to pour this and look at that look at that there we go my waterproof indoor outdoor pillow so these were actually supposed to be for indoor but now they're good for outdoor so and maybe some little spots here that I may have missed, but overall, yep, it did pretty well. One DIY down, <laughs> a thousand more to go. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. Also, guys, come on over and check me out on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's House, just like it is here. Hit that follow button, and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's House. So, guys, I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's House. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.